Hi guys, welcome back to a new What I Eat in a Day. This is a quarantine edition. I waited more than a month and a half to do one, but here we go. This is for breakfast. I'm having oats. Um, not changing my habits. Always having oats. Sometimes it's overnight. Sometimes I bake it on the day on the stove. So this time I added some chia seeds as I mostly always do. And I make sure to mix that well with a fork before adding hot water. Otherwise the chia seed kind of conglomerate and it's stuck and it doesn't make it as creamy as I wish. So I'm cooking that and this is the sweet sweet hack or banana hack is just to mash my banana in its skin because I couldn't be bothered taking a plate <laughs> and this is kind of my quarantine mood by the way just couldn't be bothered doing things but anyway it's a really good method because you're not like doing additional dishes plus you're getting some vitamin from the skin you want it to be that mushy mushy and adding it to the oats while cooking will make it super sweet super creamy also really good for digestion and right now i mean sitting all day kind of slows down the transit so this is a good way to you know make it easier so i cook that on medium to low heat for a couple of minutes while i'm cutting strawberries don't ask me why but april was strawberry season this year so here we go they're delicious and they come from france i'm adding a splash of milk and don't neglect this splash of milk because it makes everything super creamy and then i add my strawberries and a teaspoon of peanut butter honestly i've been having this almost daily i mean until i had no strawberries anymore but yeah this is a really quick delicious satisfying until lunchtime so lunchtime i decided to do some tempeh which is a good source of protein plant-based protein it's made out of soy fermented so it's also really good for your gut health i'm cutting it in cube and i'm putting it on like a baking tray I mean, what I have, <laughs> which is like a pie dish. Um, also adding some broccolini, which is kind of small broccoli. I think it's crossed with, I don't know, other veggie, but it's, it's good. I'm adding some olive oil and some curry spice on top just to make it a bit more flavorful. Mixing that through and adding a little bit of salt and then bake that in the oven for about 15 minutes just lightly golden for the tempeh and just lightly cooked for the greens. I'm also cutting some fresh tomatoes. I got myself this huge salad bowl so I can just stack a lot of greens in there and I added some semolina and my tomatoes, my cooked greens and also my tempeh on top of it and this bowl makes it so easy to I don't know, just eat larger portions of veggies. I also added some olives, some gomasio, which is sesame seeds and dolls. And finally, drizzled some tahini on top because I love to do that as a dressing. It's really simple. I think I also added some lemon juice, which I didn't show. But yeah, I'm having this kind of lunch or sometimes it's for dinner a lot and i just think it's really good because it's a very easy way to get a lot of vegetables and it's balanced and there's a lot of good fats protein source carbs it just makes it fun to switch it off and just to show you this is really huge so this with my hand just to compare a little bit Okay, so I've been working out quite a bit lately and I'm just more hungry so I usually have an afternoon snack and at the moment it consists of this protein smoothie which I've posted a recipe for on my Instagram, you can go have a look. And finally for dinner I had some leftover of the pasta which is the creamy pasta from my ebook but I also added some peas in there and cauliflower as well. Um, so it's basically just like pasta cooked in the oven it really doesn't look so appetizing right now i'm sorry but <laughs> yeah this is this is what i had for dinner it was just perfect for the appetite that i had and i'm trying to get a good angle of it but i just couldn't get one so here we go that's all i ate today hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon